Hey everyone! So this is the look we're going to be doing in this video. Uh, it's very colorful, very sparkly. Um, I was really just wanting to play with some multi-chrome eyeshadows that I got and this was what the result of it was because I couldn't pick which colors I wanted to play with. Uh, so let's get into it. So I've been skipping using a primer uh, in my later years now as I enter into my 40s. Well, I entered into my 40s a couple years ago, but um, once we did hit that era, I started skipping a primer. My oil my lids are haven't been as oily, so there have been other products that I found that actually work just as well for a primer. Uh, case in point, Donessa Myrick's Groundworks palette. Um, I just use one of the neutral shades that's in her palette. It's from the pomades. The pomades specifically is what I use. Um, it's been a really good primer for me, and it lets the eyeshadow that I use. It gives it something to stick to. So I then wanted to put down a black base so that way the multi-chrome colors could have something to um, reflect off of I guess. I don't I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for. But I wanted to have a, a dark base so that way the colors could kind of pop more. Um, so I'm using Carla Cosmetics. Um, and I forget the name of it, but it's her black shadow primer. Um, it's called moon shadow, I think is the name of it, but it's fabulous. Um, if you guys just want a quick black base that you can put on and then smear around, as you can see, it is very easy to work with. I made sure to leave this unedited other than just really speeding it up. So you guys could see how easy it is to work with when you put it on and then just blend it on your on your lid and then put it out into a shape that you like for your eye. Um, I then also applied it to my lower lid um, again also just so I could have a dark base that the multi-chrome shadows could play off of. So here's where we start to play with the first um, multi-chrome color that I had. So this one's from Davina Cosmetics. It's from the Mystic Cove palette and the name of it is Thetis. Um, as you can see, it goes on very gold, um, but as you shift, it shifts between um, a very vibrant green and what looks like, I think it's like a pink to purple fuchsia color. Um, when I turn, when I shift my head here, you'll actually kind of see how the color shifts. It's actually very awesome. Um, and I'm applying it with a silicone or silicon, um, uh, this one specifically from Danessa Myricks. It's one of her chrome amplifier applicators. Um, but if you just have like an eyeshadow, those old fashioned eyeshadow applicators, one of those will work great. Um, or just any, any sort of, um, you could even use your finger, use your finger. That'd be, that'd be good too. And then I also applied it down to my, the inner corner of my lower lash, lash line. The second color um, that I applied, forgive my pronunciation, um, Echidna, I think is how it's said. But as you can see, when I put it on on the black base, it has, it goes on very pink. Um, so I, that's why I kind of, I don't know why I put it in the middle there. I just, I like the way how this looked. The way, I think the way how the color shifted it kind of looked like one color would lead into another one with the way how they were shifting. So it's still, even though these are color, these are three different colors that I'm putting on on my upper eyelid, because of the way they shift, it still looks like it's all one color, if that makes sense. So yeah, this last color that I'm putting on my upper lid, um, I forgot the name of it as it just went by. <laughs> Um, oh, Palaemon, Um, but as you can see, yeah, this color, it, when you look at it in the palette, it, um, it has like a purple base, it looks like, but as you shift it in the light, it shifts to a pink, a gold and a green color. So there you go. Shifting from left to right, even though I'm wearing three different colors, um, they all still kind of look like they're one. So that's pretty cool. 
Um, this color then for the lower lash line, I don't know. I don't know why I went with a completely different color, but Galene is, I think is how it's pronounced or Galini. Apologies. Please correct me in the comments. Um, but I wanted to go with a different uh, color that stood out on the lower lash line. So that's why we went with this color. It, it, I felt like, I don't know, it kind of completed the rainbow for some reason. Um, and it wasn't even really what it was going for, but I liked the way that it popped. Um, and it gave a little bit of difference compared to what was going on in my upper eyelid. This step is completely optional. Um, when I was sitting there looking at my makeup, I kind of wanted to have a little bit of an extra pop where you could see that it where it looked more like I was wearing three different colors rather than just one color that was shifting be three, between three shades. Um, so that's where I took a, a echidna and used like a, an angle applicator and then just kind of um, drew a line, I guess. I don't know. Look, the, can you guys tell how long it's been since I've watched anything beauty really related? Because I, I don't know terms anymore. Um, but, you know, just bear with me. <laughs> Back at beginner status. <laughs> but there, you can kind of see what I'm doing where I'm just kind of drawing a line over um, Thetis over the first color that I applied so that it kind of gives a little bit of a contrast and a differentiation where you can actually see the difference in the two two multi-chrome eyeshadows. So um, I will be honest these these eyeshadows do have a lot of fallout um, so put on your eye makeup first just heads up or you know take necessary precautions to avoid fallout if you do your foundation first, whatever you do. Um, but for me, I use some micellar water and a cotton pad and then just kind of wiped away all of the um, fallout that I had and then um, reapplied any foundation. Um, I also just went ahead and watered my, my water or watered my water lines. I lined my water lines so that that way that step could be out of the way. And here you see me applying a foundation primer. This is Fenty Beauty's uh, foundation primer. I think it is the, it's their soft matte version. And for um, foundation, right now I'm using Estee Lauder, or at least in this video I'm using Estee Lauder. Um, kind of on the hunt for different, I don't know, different brand. Um, with better morals. <laughs> Uh, just let me know uh, any recommendations that you guys have for foundations that have a similar sort of um, coverage and build. Um, I like a lighter coverage that doesn't feel heavy on the skin. So any recommendations, hit me up in the comments. Yeah. Uh, went ahead and applied my concealer. I was using Pat McGrath's, um, all of her long named whatever concealer it is. She has really long named products. <laughs> um, and then for a contour, um, I have to be honest. So Danessa Myricks, her Groundworks, uh, the neutrals palette, I've been using that a lot for my new contour because it, it's been a long time since I've had a, since I've had a, a contour that actually seemed like a color that should be a contour. Most contours that I've bought um, recently, they have a reddish undertone to them. Um, and so they don't look very contour-like to me. To me, a contour should have maybe a bit more of a shadowy tone to it, at least for me, for me, per for me personally. Um, what I like is I like to have a contour that, that ha has a bit of a gray tone to it. It's still beige, but it has a bit of a gray tone to it. So it creates more of a shadow effect. Um, and Danessa Myricks, one of her, one of the shades in her um, Groundworks palette has been hitting it on the dot for me for that. So for a blush, I also used, um, I'm trying out a new blush that I got from Danessa Myricks. Um, it is Rose and Brunch that on with my fingers and then just kind of dabbed it in a little bit 
And now for the highlight, <laughs> this is where I decided I wanted to have a little fun. Um, Carla calls as if the multi chrome eyeshadow wasn't fun enough. But anyways, <laughs> um, Carla Cosmetics has a, she calls it an eyeshadow. I like to think of it as a highlight, but I wanted to use it as a cheek highlight. So at first I applied it with a brush, but it wasn't showing up to the, um, as dramatically as I wanted to. So that's when I went through and I used it with my finger. I applied it with my finger just straight down along the, the, um, the top of my cheek and pow, pow, there you go. <laughs> I feel like lips are always one of those things that is a personal preference. I mean, anything makeup really is a personal preference um, when it comes to the steps. I love how different makeup has become now. Um, when you think about back when I started these videos and how makeup always had, it had all these rules and you should be doing it this way and you should be doing it that way and don't do it like this because then you'll look like that and blah, 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 blah. And the way how people have just taken that, taken those rules and thrown them out the window, like get, uh, get, get out of here. We ain't got no time for that. Um, I love it. So I've totally gotten off, um, the topic of this video, which is, you know, the steps, but hopefully you guys like it. Oh, that's what I was saying. Lips, you know, do what you want. Um, I kind of wish I'd gone with a different look for the lips, but at the same time, it, I feel like it would have taken away from the eyes and everything else that was going on with the cheeks. So, yeah. Um, hopefully you guys like it. Uh, I couldn't figure out which close-up shots to keep and which ones to get rid of, so if this seems a bit self-indulgent self with all of these end shots, oh well. Um... Y'all could have closed out at this video 10 seconds ago. <laughs> but anyways, hopefully you guys like the look. Um, or at least think it looks cool. I don't know if you would actually wear it. I actually wore it. I loved it. Oh, I forgot to mention the highlight. Um, it's Coastal Glaze by Carla Cosmetics. I think that's the name. Okay, bye.